Borals and Gorals. We're going to do another limited uh, Nistrad Throne of Blorwin draft. Throne of Eldorwin McMormon draft. And uh, hope you guys are ready. I'm in this group chat with like, it's like Katie, Katie's brother, Katie's brother's wife. And that's one of them. And then I'm in a group chat with Katie, Katie's brother, Katie's brother's wife, Katie's mom, and Katie's dad. And so I'm like in these like multiple group chats with Katie's family. And I constantly get texts from like different groups. And I'm like, okay, let me see who's in this one. So I know what conversation we're having and like how to respond. And then I'm like, okay, wait, who's in this one? And I got to figure out who's in that one. It's a whole, it's a whole to do. Dan's what's going on? My favorite. Dan's when are we going to the Met? I really want to go back to the Met. Can I just spend, like, hours and hours in the Met? The Met, for those who don't know, is the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York. And it is absolutely incredible. If you do one thing when you're in New York, go to the Met. You will never see everything. It is humongous. I've spent, like, five hours at a time in the Met, and I still haven't seen it all. I'm like, nope, still don't know. Kerwin, I have no plans to do any of these things. I have no plans to go to New York. I have no plans to go to Seattle. These are all things I want to do, but I have no plans to do these things. But we should 100% do these things. What are we taking here? Nothing, nothing is great here. What if we take this Wandermare and just try to take all the adventures? I am really tired of blue X archetypes. It's hard to start planning around the holidays. It is a suggested donation, and I always actually donate to the Met. This is probably worse than Glass Casket, but maybe not. I don't know. It also could be really exciting. Hmm. Is this guy worth it? I don't know. This guy's also sweet, too. When I went to Vatican City, they told us that if you stand in front of all of the art in the museum for six seconds, it would take 18 months to see everything. Holy shit, that's insane. I only donate $1. <laughs> I, think I've, I think I have yet to donate less than $5 when I go to the Met. That's, that's hilarious, though, Dan's. Ah, I'll give you a buck. There you go. I don't know, man. Art is one of the things I will support wholeheartedly. Wholeheartedly. Ike is so funny. Where are my where are my wizards at? My adventures. I wanna go on some adventures. Thank you. K Dead, thank you so much. Is it K Dead? I think so. Shut K Dead Lol. K Deadle, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate the resub. Welcome back. One Metbuck. Courage just donated one Metbuck to me. The Met's like one of those things that you're like, oh, you're going to the Met, you're a tourist, but it's not really like a tourist thing. It's really actually sick. It's McRib season sponsored post. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Ooh, that's a raspberry lemonade. That's a nice one. That's a delicious. Oh, Rally's not bad. My God, I took this Wandermare to take all the... It's a 3 3 for 3 at worst. To, to get all the adventure cards, and I haven't seen one adventure card. Can we go hunting for McRibs then? I'm probably not going to go uh, hunting for McRibs. Oh, Dan's, Dan's, your consistency to donate bits to me is overwhelming. I appreciate you. You are one of my favorite friends, lady. 
Here's a Garenberg Swire. Also goes well with the adventures that we don't have yet. Does the Met accept bids? I don't think it's Flutterfox. I think it is actually Garenberg Squire. Because if we're if our deck does end up being adventure based, then we're good. Still not a single adventure. Ooh, a Trapped in the Tower, though. I've seen so many of these guys. That's unreal. I'm going to take this Trapped in the Tower. My LGS has a John Cena cutout they got from somewhere that they randomly placed around the store. How do you know that? How can you even see it? That sounds like bullshit. None of these guys are... Eh, Youthful Knight seems okay. LR just was talking about how bad white is in their most recent episodes. We prepared for everyone to avoid white like the plague. Yeah, well... This card, I've actually played it once, and I was like, eh, ain't too bad. What's the card where all your creatures get plus one, plus one counters on them? I forgot what it is, but I know there's a card in here that does that, right? Grumgully, that's the one. No, I was thinking entering the battlefield, but yeah, the, the white one. You just passed a white adventure. What's that white adventure, idiot? What was the white adventure that I passed? I don't even know what it was. Dream Meme Weaver, what's going on? What is the deal? I took Youthful Knight and said, what, what was it? You're not telling me what it was. Oh, the Squire? That Squire is trash. Look, I got one anyway. See? What's the problem? I put it in the 3-drop because I'd rather just play it as an instant than, than a boring-ass 2-1. You're about to move? God. I move every day. I said he was an idiot. I thought you were talking... I thought you called me an idiot. <laughs> I was like... I thought you said... Because, I don't know. I don't... I don't like to assume uh, people's level of punctuation. So I thought you were basically saying, like... You just passed the white adventure, idiot. And I was like, wow, that's aggressive, but I, we have a kind of a, a meme dynamic, so that's fine. I really want this Gadwick, because this card is bonkers. It's like, I'll draw six, but, you know, guys, I don't know if you know this. It's triple blue, so. I think it's just Shepard here. Grumgully is also very, very good. We're just too deep into green here that we can give up the... I'm just going to take Shepard. <clears throat> if you're too deep into green, Grummy is fine. I don't know what that means, but we are not. I'm just going to take this. Oh, Mysterious Pathlighter? Alright, so we're adventuring big time. Big time adventures. Big. Big adventures. Huge. I'm going to take out Muscle here.
You heard about this guy who told Twitter that he set up an Amazon buy bot. He told his followers they can post whatever they want if it doesn't exceed $25. The bot will buy four items per hour, choosing the one with the most upvotes. He let it run for 24 hours. Interesting. And what happened? Tell me more. Go on. <clears throat> Shining Armor is trash. Insatiable Appetite is actually a card that's uh, impressed me quite a bit. I wonder if Silver Flame Ritual will fulfill a similar... I'm going to take the Ritual. I think the Ritual is better for our deck. Oh, I thought you were going to say like it bankrupted him. I guess four items per hour. Uh, if it doesn't exceed 25, so let's say... I'll just do the math here. I'm not going to... 25 times four, so it's only $2,400 at most, right? That's only... That's not a huge... If you're a big-time uh, content creator, Twitch streamer, what have you, that's, that's not a huge expense. Flaxen Intruder is fantastic. So we got like three adventures so far. Not a ton. But it's okay. We're going deep. I like to move it, move it. Oh, God. I wish this was... Can I get... I've seen this one. I've seen, I've seen like four of these guys. Can I just get the on-color one? Can I also get the, like, the two threes that add mana? Because those seem great, too. Eh, this pack's pretty unexciting. Might just be f Silver Flame Ritual number two. I don't really care about the Vigilance. I really just want to go wide and, and put a bunch of counters on my bros. I don't think we need more two drops here. Gingerbread Cabin does make a free food. I just don't care about it. All right, I'll take Garen Brig, Garen, Garen Brig. Yeah, that's actually fine. With both Wandermare and Mysterious Pathlighter, I feel like this guy has a lot more value. Curious Pair? Nice. All right, we did get an Insatiable Appetite number two if we want it. Tall as a beanstalk. We also have a Fireborn Knight and Signboard. Jeez. Jeez, Lewis. Another Insatiable Appetite. How many Insatiable Appetites are too many? How insatiable are we going to get? Mm, you're okay. Oh, an Iron Crag feet. Um, in wall, edge wall innkeeper seems great. Uh, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five. Where did he go? One, two, no, no, no. Three, four, five. Not you. You. Five's not bad so far. Yeah, I'm gonna take the edge wall innkeeper. That guy facilitates our strategy. Ooh, trapped in the tower. Number dose. Look, two more. Two more. Unbelievable. And an emery. I'm just going to take trapped in the tower. Oh, another trapped in the tower. Wow, we're trapping everything in the tower, dude. It's all getting stuck. Put it up in the tower.
So three trapped in the tower now. What are we not playing in this list? I don't know, man. Everything seems good so far. Doom foretold. Look, another now this one. I, I guarantee you, if you go back and watch this this vod or this this video on the YouTube's, uh, we've opened or seen every one of them except for the green green white one. I want to take this return to nature. We're not splashing anything in this deck. Oh, another curious pair. Curious. <clears throat> oh, here's black white one again. That's the second black white one. I'm just taking Bell of the Brawl. I don't care about Shining Armor or a second Wolves Quarry. I don't think we're playing the first one if it comes down to it. Two premium sideboard cards. Another Grum Gully? Oh, we'll loan some Unicorn. Yeah, we'll loan some Unicorn here. Oh, Tactician? All right. It's all coming together now. Our deck is the greatest today I have known. Oh, my island. Before I get out. Mm, okay. Wow, this other unicorn came back too? Buttery biscuits. Who are you going to loan some unicorn to? Wow. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow. I think we can actually cut this youthful knight now. Because I don't really want to cut any of these when we have Pathlighter, Wandermare, and Edgewell and Keeper. What's a main board? Main boarding? You mean main decking? Rather than keeping it in my side deck, oh shit, you that was a, oh shit, that was a, that was the deepest cut I've ever seen. <laughs> if I just read the whole thing, I would have been like, wow, you're just a, you're just a, tr you're just a, a troll du jour over here. Got him! You did. You legit did. This deck looks sweet now. We got. We went up to nine ventures. And our deck is pretty much built. These lonesome unicorns are three drops, so this is this is a much more representative curve. These are ideally one drops. This is a seven drop. You're sure? I don't even hate shining armor. He's out to do a knight, though, right? Yeah, okay. So if we don't have knights, it doesn't matter. We do have some knights, though. Knight. Knight, knight. <gasps> Excuse me. And three trapped in the towers and an out muscle. This deck seems great. It's not delivery. It's du jour. Hey, Tony, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. 20 months? Good lord. Good gravy. Yep, 8-9. Sounds good. Done. Let's let's see how bad white is in this format. Ugh. Ooh. Oh, God. Do you hear the popping? The popping and the snapping. Shepard is great with adventures, especially if you have Edgewall or Wandermare out. 
if we only had like one of these three, I'd be like, okay, maybe we don't have to lean so heavily into the adventures, but considering we have three of them. I drew none of our adventures. I'm going to just... Oh, well then. Let's still play this guy. And then we can play Innkeeper and keep up Garen Brig Carver. Oof. Interesting, interesting. Well, now I'm just playing 2 2 Flyer. Wow, this is great. Draw a card, get a counter. Oof. We do got some big floats in hand, my dude. I need lands, though. Oh, we're hitting them. Hmm. Oh, that's rude. Well, you know what? That's your prerogative, I guess. Oh, I should have pumped there just so I can play this guy next turn. No blocks, huh? Okay. Coco! Oh boy. Oh boy! Alright, well, we're definitely getting in there because we have double tricks. Dubs, trickos. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, let's play this guy first. Plus two, plus two. Run away together. Okay. That was efficient. We probably should have played Silver Flame Squire first now that I think about it. I wanted to play the other one because it was... Uh, this would leave our guy untapped, but it doesn't really matter. If they had a trick, then it's worse. So... Whatever. We're still going to try to get rid of it now. And this time, if we play Squire, we can cast Squire, get a counter. Um, this guy, one, two, three... Oh my god, you have so tiny too. Jesus. This is fairly obnoxious. You got it. I mean, we're just going to win with this guy, I guess. And prized Griff. Didn't have a chance. I do like Return to Nowhere when we've seen 2 4 and other things. I don't know if it's that great though. Like, we have Triple Trapped in the Tower, so. But they do have. 
pull from the wreckage. You guys know what I'm talking about. Don't turn around. Oh, oh. <laughs> Let's go. Our opponent's name is White Faces. Is that weird? I countered that shock giant yesterday with a witch's oven. It was a scoop moment with a witch's oven? Oh, did they shock a creature and then you sack the creature in response? And then they just couldn't cast their 4-3? That seems insane. Did they not know you had witch's oven out? This is awkward hand because we can't go this guy into this guy unless we have like a temple garden. Okay, we can just play one into one now. Garen Brig. <whistles> Nothing, huh? Do they just counter my Ardenville Tactician? I kind of just want to pass. If they don't want to do anything, that's fine. I'm not going to throw a, a Tactician away. I'd rather tap their guy down. Play Tactician, attack for three. Sure. Oh, that's rude. That's not very nice. You're not a nice person. Actually, I probably should have just played Shepherd here. Put them to two and then put more power on the board. Who knows? Magic's hard. All right. What's the deal, white faces? I'm just not gonna... Like, if they're just holding up counter spells, like, I'm not gonna, like, run my guy into your counter spell. I have another trapped in the tower. Charmed sleep. Sure. If you want to counter this, that's fine. They did not. Fascinating. <clears throat> now I don't actually think they have counter spells. Because just, this is just resolving way too quickly, and they 
They just let us put five more power on the board. Are they color screwed and they just can't activate their second their second colors here? I'm just going to play this guy. I don't really want to get either of these countered, but this is still lethal, so. I sent you another t-shirt design. The execution isn't great, but it's more... If you like the concept... Oh, yeah. Sure, 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 sure. I did not get it yet. Is it in my spam? No, it's not in my spam. Okay, so we basically... Oh, I got it. I just got it. <laughs> okay. Okay, so this is... <laughs> Jesus God. Oh Lord. Turns out if you trap this guy in a tower, they have a real hard time adding their four colors of mana. <laughs> so am I led to believe it's like what does little man say? And underneath the little underneath here it says Mao on it, so you can raise it up. Cause I don't even know if you can print t-shirts like that. He needs TV for his bunghole? I don't even know what that means. Not with that, dude. Comma, comma, comma. Best Nick R. Wow. Wow. Nick, I feel like the commas really add to the old person sending a text message meme. Ooh, Curious Parent to Wandermare? Or Garenberg, rather, into... Oh, this seems great. This is like... This is like the best hand ever. Keep. It seems like it'd be really hard to print a t-shirt with a design on the outside and the inside. Extra commas are the proper seasoning on messaging like a boomer. You know what other, you know what other grammatical thing is the proper seasoning? Adding a space between the last letter and the exclamation mark. Like if I was like, "Good luck!" Space exclamation mark. I'm like, oh, just that's so cringy. You come and go. Also, I said comma, 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 and that literally got Karma Chameleon stuck in my head. That's a programmer move. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Oh, what a little shine chaser. He's a shine chaser. Love maker. Wanna trade? I got a Garen Briggs Squire, is it? A... I mean, that's a, that's a trade for me, my dude. This does not seem like a good trade for them, so. Nay. Do you think they're gonna trade? Nay. That's a little horse humor for you guys. I'll be here all week. Wow. Well, I got a shepherd, so I ain't too worried. I ain't I ain't too scared. I got a shepherd in the deck. Whoa. Shepherd. I, I can't trap that dude in any towers. That's really sad.
I don't know if Flax and Intruder is ever going to be able to get through, just to be clear. Oh, look, Mono Flyers and Mono Trapped in the Towers. Okay, well. Yikes. Big Bird coming through. I'm bad at this. There is no commands again, and I don't even know what to do. All of the commands are gone. Good lord. They just board all the traps in the towers and bring in a bunch of... Oh. Well, that's pretty cool. Cause I'm trapping you in the tower Going to Pennsylvania What? What are you talking about? More normalizing violence? Getting a little deep here. I guess I'll take eight. That seems like a lot. Fascinating. What's MTGO ploidical? What is ploidical? Ba boom 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 ba boom ba boom boom boom. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. You know what I meant, nerds. <laughs> Do I? Oh man, if I had Insatiable in hand, I could just kill him right now. Sack this food. God, it's such a tricky card. If they have an answer, we're dead. So I assume they do. Okay, that's not an answer. What is your quest? Definitely bringing in a return to the all that glitters. Wow, that's pretty good. If you put it on here. Oh yeah, we're definitely counting on the food, like for sure. But I still think we're a little far behind here, unfortunately. I'm probably going to take two of these trapped in the towers out because I've seen literally one non-flying creature in their deck. And we're going to bring in one insatiable and one artifact killer. I don't know if I have a fell the pheasant in here. I do not, unfortunately. Are you putting on that guy? That makes sense. I mean, whatever. It's got Vidge. Dip two? Okay. I don't know why that took so long. I have one blocker. Like, phenomenal waste of time. I'm so confused at what to do with my two cards that win me the game if I simply cast them on any of my flyers whatsoever. Fell the Pheasant would have been nice. You are correct. You are correct. This hand's pretty mediocre. 
How much damage can I get in with a 3-1? Hmm. None. The answer is none damage. That's the amount I can get in. But, seems to work out well. Let's draw Edgewall Innkeeper here. That'd be great. Pfft. Come on with that. Edge wall and keep one time. <laughs> All right. That's the thing, I guess. <laughs> Not sure I understand it, but it is what it is. Next turn we can go Shepherd, bounce the Curious Pair, cast Shepherd or Curious Pair, or both. Sure. It's not anger. It's just I'm getting to a point where I'm just absolutely conf confounded by it. Okay, we're gonna play you. I don't foresee them blocking here. But if they do, that's cool. I almost don't want to even cast this guy because, like... Like, being able to bounce something later. Uh, Usher to safety you. But I don't want to do nothing either, so... Next turn we get to Griff. If we draw a land, actually, if we draw a plains, we can go rally and Sir Farron and gain like one, two, three, four, five. It's pretty good. <laughs> sure. I feel like the damage is already done a little bit, but you know, it's okay. They have two, three, three flyers, so we're probably dead. That's a yikes for me, dog. I guess we're going to play Prize Griffin here and hope that does the job. Might as well get in there. On the right side, they cannot trap this in a tower, so... Going down to the witching well. How do we always end up losing one round handily, winning one round handily? And then having a third round, that's... Jesus Christ. Eh, it's not the worst, but this guy's pretty bad. Yikes. Am 
my god, we're so close to just killing them here. That's actually comical. We have 13 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7. 15. We have 15 exactly if we're able to play all of these things. I had one more white mana. Gaining four life here would be extremely relevant. Yep, I agree with you. Exactly my thoughts. So we have to chump block if we don't leave up food. Five, six, seven, eight. Block here, eat a food. But then like we also want blockers. Like I think the only option is literally rally. It is an instant though. I guess we can just pass. See what they do. Because we can also just eat two food. But then they could counter it too, so. If they counter it, it's pretty rough. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I'm just gonna cast it. One more white would have been great. One more white would have been insane. Like we could even play like Surfaren into to rally if we had the one white instead of the three forests, because then we gain five and go to ten, and our blocks would just be fantastic. Let me guess, tap this guy down, and then we take eight exactly. Yeah, never fails. And if we had one more land, we could have untapped something, but... Did they not... Did they not choose targets? It doesn't look like they cast... It doesn't look like they choose any targets. We actually might have been fine here. Oh, wow. That's weird. Right, but when you when you just cast something, it says you, you get to choose targets. It'll say like cast dizzying swoop choosing X and X targeting X and X. Like it'll say what you're casting as you as you cast something. Yeah, that's weird. I probably should have just let it resolve. Sounds pretty bad. He says right before keeping it. I just don't think these cards are bad. So, I don't know. I'm gonna play Forest first because it lets us play the two drop green guy on turn two. Do we just run this dude out there? Seems bad. Whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
I'm just going to play Tactician here. Man, I can't believe, like, oh, God, I'm just kicking myself over the last game. Well, that's pretty good. How about planes into something else? Sure. Unicorns, fine. Yep, take three. Hmm. Okay, I don't know what you could have here. The dealer trick costs two, and I'm fine with you trading with the knight, because you're gonna trade with the knight anyway. Yeah, outflank's pretty good here. They did not have outflank. Yep, 4-4. Four, four. That's pretty good. White source. Seems good. All right. We could wait a turn. Did you just wait a turn? Hmm. If we wait a turn, we can go this into Silver Flame Ritual. Is that better? I don't know. These are hard decisions. Because if we do that, we can actually... I mean, like, waiting a turn also implies that we're definitely drawing a land. So I'm just going to do it now. Three, 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 four. You don't have reach, right? You just got vigilance? Okay, I'll deal with it. Seems good. I mean, I wish we could have saved it for bigger bears, but... Interesting. Pretty sure I cracked the food here because we're not going to have time to next turn. Okay, well, that's a dude, I guess. So we're going to take four and then, oh, I guess we're going to take four and three. Yeah, we're just going to block the one. I don't care if this is a two, three, if I can get rid of this guy. 
You have a two-turn clock unless they play a flyer, I guess. Just don't play a flyer. Just don't play a bird. And then dying don't cut cool. Yep. No attacks. Whenever a creature, uh, whenever you cast, okay, this is a cast trigger on enters the battlefield, enters a battlefield trigger, so that's good. Okay, so that's good, and we're dead. Fantastic. <laughs> Ugh, cringe. Uh, so we've lost almost every game to flyers, right? So just uh, just curious. They also didn't have a ton of ground guys. We'll just take out a bunch of dead trapped in the towers. Three trapped in the towers. You think would be very very good? Turns out they are okay, I guess. Yep, Mulligan. <laughs> Reluctantly keep, I guess. Get rid of six drop, five drop. That doesn't do anything for us. We got this. I don't know, man. I don't know. Um, yeah, we'll just play Pathlighter next turn. We can save everything until then. Fascinating. Uh, it would be nice. I don't know what I was, I don't even know what I was gonna say. Like, I'm definitely not blocking this dude. You are out of your mind. That's interesting. Are we out flank, huh? Nice. I got treats to share, my dude. We're doing it. We're living the dream. Yeah, every game we've lost, we've lost to a white dick. Ooh, no haste into attacks, huh? Okay. Okie dokie. Ardichoki. Actually, let's just go. I kind of want to tap your flyers and just play this. See, watch. When I cast and I target the guy, I think they just hit okay. So if I target this... And I guess this. It'll say, cast Dizzing Swoop targeting Mysterious Pathlight and Crashing Drawbridge. Like, when they played it last game, they just didn't do anything. Sure. I don't know. I don't know why you... Uh, I have no idea what that does. Two for themselves? No, they would have attacked with this. And if we block, they outflank and deal two to this. How is it a two for one? They're literally just trading out flank for Mysterious. They had two creatures. It deals damage equal to the number of the creatures they control, not the number of attacking creatures they have. I feel like you're just misremembering what outflank does. Uh, 
That's a good one. Did they attack for drawbridges in play? I don't think so. No, they played the drawbridge and they, they attacked with this. I don't think so, but maybe. I don't know. I could be misremembering for sure. Wish this guy had some haste. One, two, three. Yeah, this is fine. Let's see if they have a second outflank. Maybe they would have double outflanked. No, they just took three here. Okay. Okay, my, my bad. That's my bad. Yep, that is a big fat bird. Interesting. I'm just taking two here. We have a curious pair that can block this guy forever. Oh, well, that's fascinating too. No blocks. Well, really hoping for uh, something that did a thing. Just passing here. No way to break through, unfortunately. That bird just said, I have a glandular problem. I guess Lonesome Unicorn? Sure. Is our board better than theirs? Probably not. <laughs> Where have you been, my dude? One, two, three, three adventures later. What do we want to draw here? I don't even want to draw the three bears because then we just can't cast them. The Wrath Giant would be decent. Huh. Huh. I guess that's true. I wonder if I could draw that. Not in the deck. Three, four, five, six. They block with everything. Eh, it's whatever. I mean, the intruder. You mean the carver? What intruder? Oh, yeah, the flaxen intruder, if we drew it. I don't know if it's worth giving up three bodies, though. I got a big bird, too. What are you gonna do? Next turn I might just attack with both birds and then then get my car. Oh, for crying out loud. I hope you whiff at least. I, you might just be playing this as a 3-3 three, three for 4 in your in your mono white deck. Okay, I'd love a green source here. It's comical that like one of the main factors of losing the last game, the last round, was that we didn't have enough green to gain some life off Rally, but in this game we don't have any any green whatsoever. I feel like we're probably in with three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if they don't block like them, we're still probably okay. Yep, that's fine. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this could be... So we're either killing both of these or both of these. Theoretically. Oh. All at this guy, huh? So we're going to make... This is going to be five damage, so... Let's put these two in the front. Yeah, that was pretty good. I like the way that worked out a lot. Uh, 
I guess we have nothing else to do. We'll just pass. That seemed beneficial. The exact... Like, like if we just... Oh, God. That's ridiculous. <laughs> now no card for us. Oh, we still got... Mysterious Pathlighter. Gadenbrig. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <sighs> Does Alpha do anything? The 4 4 and the 3 4 make it scary. So let's say they have. They're going to block. 2-2 two, two with 3-4, four. 4-4 four, four with 3-2, no, 2-4 with 4-4, four, 3-2 four, two with 2-2, two, two. so these guys would be taken care of, 3-3 three, three with 4-4, four, four. Three, three, so this, 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 and this are taken care of with these, 0-4 oh, blocks 2-2, two, 2-1 two. Two, blocks, that guy can't attack, so they just take 2, yeah, that's not great. Yeah, it's funny. If we had that forest last turn, we could have drawn a card. If we had, if they didn't draw this last turn, we could have drawn a card. Lots of things. Well, no adamant here, but. And now I'm not going to attack with that guy because then I just... No, actually this is a 1-1. One, one. So, maybe. And maybe this guy. Yeah, let's do that. Eh, okay. Two days in a row live. It's a new record. I'm currently sorting my standard cards. I was doing that. I literally did that like two nights ago. It was exhausting. There were so many sets. I had to put... I had to put Ixalan, Rivals of Ixalan, M19, and Dominaria away. So I had to like unsleeve all four of those sets, like all the playable cards from those sets, and then sleeve up all the M20 and Throne of Ixalan, Throne of Eldrain stuff, Throne of Ixalan. Too much Ixalan. Oh, that's good. Is it? I don't know. We're going to Pennsylvania. If we kill this, I'm not even going to mess around. We're just going to alpha here. Josh, what's going on, my buddy? My man. All right. Well. Well, well, well. Dude, the more I play, the more I'm like, Insatiable Appetite is real good. I'm almost tempted to play another Silver Flame Ritual, for crying out loud. Hello, Joshua. Would you like to play a game? <laughs> Why are you like this? I thought that was a Saw reference, not a War Games reference, so... I'm going to keep this. We're on the draw. If we get any white source, it's really good. We can play this guy into this guy into this guy. Okay, no white source yet. Just a white card. Don't forget, guys. Nine white sources in the deck. Let's see if it affects... All of our match. Okay, actually, whenever you cast... That's a cast trigger. That's pretty good. Of course, they do have Scalding Cauldron, so that's unfortunate. I'm not really worried about taking one here. 
I might just play a lonesome unicorn uh, token. Yeah, let's just make a lonesome. I don't feel like I, I want to wander mare and then cast the guy afterwards. Oh, that's interesting. It's also good. Riders in need. I thought this was a real son of a bitch. Just saying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Fancy art, payday, pay that rent, maybe get hungry. How he's do? Fancy art, thank you so much, dude. Really appreciate it. I was gonna say welcome, welcome, like you just subscribed, but that's not what happened. Thank you, man. Really appreciate the support. You are awesome. You are a good, good dude. Piper of the swarm Into this world with run Into this house with bloom Rider in the swarm Burn, 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 burn Oh, no blocks. Buddy, I got vigilance, my dude. Alright, we're gonna trap this guy in a tower and just play Edgewall Innkeeper here. They're probably gonna kill the Edgewall Innkeeper, but I think that's better than killing our Wandermare. Hmm. Just that guy, huh? Well, that's something. Land. It's a land. Really want, really want more white sources, guys. Really want more white sources. Okay, that guy's good. That's a gentleman. I think we're ahead here. They're probably gonna scalding. Nope. Okay, they just play that guy and scalding this guy, right? Oh, the innkeeper. Oh wow. Oh wowie kazowie. All right, we did it. We drew another white source. A rider indeed. Indeed is a friend indeed. I mean, if you want to trade here, I think we're going to be doing... Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Is this all creatures? Creatures entering the battlefield? Oh, they didn't even get to trigger this now. That's pretty funny. Okay. Well, that's a thing. Um, hmm. So what we can do is one, two, three, four, out muscle. Here, onto you. Keep up Ardenvale, tap two things. The Warriors! I think we're way ahead here. Unless they cast something for... Oh god. I don't know what's happening. Oh Jesus. Yikes. That's terrifying. These are not great attacks for you. Land. I want... Yes. Oh, yes. That's what I want. That's what father likes. The good times. The, so God, it's still 5-5 five, five and 3, so we can only cast, like, one thing. And we need all three white for this, so we can't even go Ardenville Tactician this guy. That's sad. I guess this guy's the only guy that can in there and they can just double block it. 
I guess, no, I guess we can get in there with this guy too if we cast one of these. I think that's fine. Waldo, what's going on? Wow! Also got the founder badge. That's pretty sick. That is pretty sick. I got a sick badge. Man, that's that's just feel goods. Um, I think I actually just want to cast this. Reason being, it blocks their 2 3 flyer, which is really all I want. God, one more land, though. Actually, one more land, and we can cast both of these. So that's pretty good still. And I will trade either of these for both of your guys. So that's totally fine. Oh, and they agree. They're like, yeah, that's going to be too good. What? Three and. Oh, that's not how that works at all. That's a 3 3. Oh, dang it. Would have definitely killed the other one. Thanks, Magic Online. Solid strategy. Mm hmm. Oh, they didn't do anything. Nick is still here, I just don't know where he went today. I'm just going to pass here. We have no profitable attacks. I guess we have a profitable attack with Unicorn. Unicorn on Unicorn. And we can just keep up Rally because we don't need to... The creatures aren't doing anything for us. This is interesting, because we get to kill the unicorn, which lets this guy get in there for more. They have no cards in hand? Alright, that's good for us. This guy can't block it. So you have to double block. And it lets us kill the unicorn, which means everything else can pretty much... I'm going to cast now to maximize our life gain. Yep, four and one. God, everything is just one power too low. Yep, that's fine. That's just fine. Well, now our unicorn is good. Because now they have double block. I can get rid of the first striker and then all of our other creatures are good. Or, alternatively, we can get rid of the the flyer and then just start attacking with our flyer. Because they're both going to be able to block our 2-2s. Two yeah, let's get rid of the flyer. Man, this youthful knight is like surviving forever. Well, that's good. I am the warrior. Hmm. That first striker is really a problem, man. I mean, I guess we have this guy to just buzz on through. If we drew some bears, that'd be sweet, right? We get a we get two 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 three. That should finish the the job. All right, these flyers are good too, though. Okay. That's pretty good. One, two, three, four. Gain six. Yep. Oh, man. 
more floats. Lands for days. All right, pro white. Thank you. Fantastic. Yep, that's pretty good. 10, 11, 12 lands, five lands in our next 16 cards. I have no idea how to beat this thing. They've already used a silver flame ritual. I don't know if they have multiples. Yikes. Yep, that card is unbeatable. We also have five minutes, they have 16. I have no idea how that happened. Shooting at the hole of heartache, bang, bang. Okay. Okay, so we eat their... Oh, really? Really? Oh my fucking god. That's incredible. That was really impressive, the way you drew the exact same card I did at the exact same moment you needed it. Dimitri, what's going on, buddy? What's going on? That was incredible. And we both have Mysterious Pathlighter, so it's not even like a... Ugh. I mean, they can literally just wait us out here and hope we don't draw, like... Interesting. I don't think that does anything yet. They always over... <laughs> oh, why you didn't... I don't understand anything that's happening right now. I guess we lose this match because we're just like... Yeah, this is silly. I don't even know whether, whether to concede, whether I can win the game in three minutes. I have no idea where my time went. I feel like I did not take that much time, but... Apparently I did. Double Arcanist Owl. Sure. We're just playing for bears and then silver flame ritualing. That's our plan. Sure. I don't think we can win. This sucks. I, I mean, I feel like we win the long game here, or if we have another game, I feel like we're actually, our deck is very, very good, but. Thank you. Hmm. 
Oh my god, they have something every fucking time. That's absolutely unreal, dude. Oh, look, I had another thing. Every time I've drawn a, the exact card I need to thwart your trick. Oh, Dan's, thank you so much for the resub. I really appreciate you. Not Papa Perky, thank you so much for the resub, buddy. I really appreciate it. Sorry, this game is getting a little intense, so. Yep. Unreal. I have two minutes to win this match. Not gonna happen. My own fault, I guess. Maybe next turn. Maybe next turn is our ticket. I don't know how much. I don't know how they have, have that much more time. I really have no idea. I seriously didn't think I was taking that much time, but maybe I was. I mean, I'm sure we can look back and find out why. Like, maybe I was looking at links or something stuff that... Five, six, seven, eight. No blocks. Can we just win here? Is this a thing? Okay, uh, let's attack with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Should have played the land. That's going to cost me. If they go to two, I'm just going to be like absolutely demoralized. I'm just trying to rush because I have little time and I'm trying to finish this game at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three creatures are going to get through. I think it's going to cost us. I think I think it's costing us. I think we're going to feel real fucking stupid right now. Oh my god, do we just win this game? I don't think it's costing us. Wow. This is 6, 7, 8, 9. Whoa! That was our plan. We're like, we gotta draw the bears, and then we gotta we got a silver flame. Wow, that's insane. Guys, I'm so sorry that uh that took so long. But either way, 2-1, I will take it. Uh streaming is hard, guys. Streaming is hard. It is hard uh to interact with chat and play games to your best ability. And uh Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Check me out on patreon.com slash franklapore. Check me out on coolstuffinc and manatraders.com. The links and promo codes are in the description below. For that Simic deck in your inbox, just like, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Do I have that in my inbox? I will have to find out. Uh Oh, wait, Josh. Oh, it's Josh. <laughs> Oh, it's Josh. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.